Here's my experience so far, now that I've done three months with Invisalign aligners. So now I'm at the end of the 12th week of treatment, and tomorrow I put in tray number 12. My changeover has been weekly, um, except for the first tray, which uh, they wanted me to keep in for two weeks, so that's why I'm slightly out of sync with my weeks. On this basis, if everything goes smoothly, I expect my final tray uh, will come out on September 28th, 2020. Now hearing from a few of you who have uh, been through the journey, uh, when you get to, to that final tray, that may not necessarily be the end, um, as I may need some refinement trays as well. So who knows how much longer it will be beyond uh, next September. Um, but I'm three months in, um, which means, in theory, I've got nine months to go. I'll give you a little update on my progress uh, a little later on in the video. You can see uh, just how much movement I have had uh, on my teeth from week one to week 12. Now it's time of year when everyone is out socializing and with aligners in place, that's slightly tricky to do. Um, and uh, I've had to kind of see what I can get away with really. I'll take the gamble and go seven hours without the aligners in and see if they impacted on my uh, on my schedule. Being 12 weeks in, I thought, well, let's try it and see what happens. So I took my liners out, met with friends, we went for drinks, and, um, and you know, the freedom of not having liners in for a few hours is actually really quite refreshing. But then the guilt sets in. So uh, so I took the gamble. My, my movement was still on track. Nothing had changed that much. What I did notice was when, uh, when I put the liners back in, uh, I could really feel, I could really, I could really feel the uh, the movement. I could, uh, yeah, the tension on my teeth was pretty strong. So, so yeah, so without a doubt, they had started to move back. Um, so not something I'd recommend, um, but um, on the odd occasion, as long as it's not every day, um, then I found that I have managed to get away with having an evening without them in at all. Um, and you know, if if that is part of um, the beauty of Invisalign, then I'm all for it. That, it's great to have the freedom of, of, uh, of being out and not having to worry about them. A lot of people ask, does it hurt to have Invisalign aligners? Uh, I've not I've not needed any painkillers or anything. Where it, the first few days of a new tray, you feel the tension on your teeth, and, and, and what I found is uh, when I go to eat, there's a lot of sensitivity there. So I got some uh, Sensodyne uh, sensitive to, uh, toothpaste, uh, which helped a little bit. Um, but yeah, so, so without a doubt, you can definitely feel some sensitivity when you're eating. Um, it's like your teeth suddenly feel a little bit fragile. So here I am so far. This is, this is me. This is a photo of me on week one. And this is week 12. So as you can see, uh, where they had to make a gap in my lower front teeth to make, uh, to make the alignments work that gap is closing. That's exciting and it's, it's encouraging and it's great to see. And uh, yeah, I, I can't wait now for uh, September 2020. So yeah, pleased with the journey so far. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do. Um, stay tuned for more updates as I go throughout the year. My videos aren't just about Invisalign, I do travel videos and blogs and all sorts of things. So um, uh, do make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you guys on the next video.